All right, I'm out at O'Fallon Bee Yard. Let me, I got the smoker going here. Let me just get my other glove put on. We'll make a video. I know it's been a long time since I've made one. Part of that is I've been so busy. So, anyhow, I thought I'd make a quick one. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time here today. I'm just looking mainly to see how things look. Not doing a full hive inspection, but uh, I want to take a little time for a video because I know I haven't made one in a long time. So just going over the hives here. This one here, it's got three honey boxes on it. Uh, it was sitting up on a hive stand, pretty high up off the ground. When uh, you're reaching up uh, above your head to put honey boxes on, they're heavy. So I decided I should probably lower it down, give them more of a stable thing. So I put it on some cinder blocks. Also added this right here. That's an upper entrance. So there's two entrances on this hive. Um, this box here, um, they, I put a new queen in this. I went to split it early in the year, found uh, swarm cells. I did find the queen right before she swarmed, so I made the split anyhow. And then uh, the, uh, when I came back, uh, Few weeks ago, a few weeks later, I uh, found uh, queen cells on two frames, and the queen was gone. The new queen was gone. Uh, most of these hives that I put new queens in have decided that they didn't like the new queen and made their own new one. But I put a, uh, I took one frame out of this that had a, uh, queen cells on it, and I put it in this little box here, and. Uh, put that in there along with the frame of honey and I think maybe one other frame and uh, Thought I'd try a two frame split Which I had never done before I'd always done five frames and uh, Things are looking okay in here looks like the numbers have built up even since the last time I looked at them Which is which is good. I have seen the Queen. She's laying and all that so by the way, I do have a fancy new camera that uh, takes videos with a tripod and everything. However, now see here, here is a hive beetle. If you can see that thing crawling right in there, it's a little black bug. And what we do when we see those, we try to smash them, although that one fell down. Let me just pull a frame of this out. Bear with me. Like I'm saying, I got a fancy new camera. I just don't have it with me right now. So that's uh, that's my fault, my bad. I didn't really plan on doing a video, but I've had people asking me, saying, hey, there's no, uh, no videos, what's going on? Well, I've just been very busy, folks. Been very busy. There's some pollen, there's uh, some brood. Um, don't see the queen here. And over on this side, there is uh, the same. Don't see the queen. I'm not going to really dig for queens today or even check the rest of these hives to see if, see if there's eggs or anything. All I care about today is seeing if, uh, if they need a honey box, if there's anything that looks suspicious from the outside of the hive, and so on. So... Um, I know that I've got some hives up here that need some honey boxes put on them, and we will be extracting not this coming weekend, but next weekend, most probably, extracting some honey. Always good to keep the old smoker going. So anyhow, that's that was this hive, and then the rest of these, you can see we got a we even got a honey box on this one. Let's take a look and see uh, real quick if they're making any honey. The last time I checked, there wasn't anything in the, uh, the honey box here. And from being short on equipment, I've kind of put, uh, put on here whatever I had. So here, for whatever reason, This foundation's been in here for a while, and they, they hadn't seemed to be doing anything with it. But looking
looking at it today, it looks like they're starting to make uh, comb on it. Yep, they're just starting on it. That is foundation with some wax uh, honeycomb being built on it. Same thing on the other side, so they're, they're making some progress. But they're, they're working slow. Now that they've started doing things in this top box, though, I think that uh, things will proceed a little faster. Not that I really cared much about them making honey for me. It's, uh, it's just a nuke kind of here to support my other hives if I need a queen or, you know, need to strengthen one with some bees. So... All right, going down the rest of these hives real fast. This one's got a honey box on it. Activity looks good. This one's got two boxes on it. Activity's looking good. Activity's looking good here. It's got uh, two boxes on it. Now these next two hives have not, for whatever reason, they also killed off the new queen and they made a new one and they have taken their sweet time in making uh, more bees. Very, very little activity on the, uh, the front of these two hives the last several times I've been here. That looks like good activity. I've left the mouse guard on both of these. That's this metal piece right here. It's got little holes here and it's got an entrance here. I left that on there to kind of give them a little defense since they're there wasn't a lot of bees in these boxes. Uh, it does not have a honey box on, neither does this one here, but you can see that they're they're flying, they're doing pretty good. So um, that's these two, and then over here we've got three honey boxes on this hive. And uh, these are a darker bee. I don't know if they're carnelian bees or what, but um, you know these these others are pretty much just uh, flying in and out and doing some little landing board cleaning and so forth. But these, this hive is hot, and what I mean by that is temperature-wise, they are they are hot. They've got bees here, and they've got bees over here, and if you notice, they're just standing there. And what they're doing is they're fanning their wings and they're putting air into the hive. So this hive is looking real, they're, they're all looking good. I can't wait to get into this one and this one and see what's going on. Um, let, me, let me pull this off real fast and just show you. The bees glue everything together, create their own seals, if you will. But what we have here is honey down in here. And I'm going to set this phone down once again, and then I'm going to show you a frame of honey. So bear with me. Okay, this is a frame of honey. I don't know how well you can see it. I think it takes a little bit for my phone to focus. But that is capped honey for the most part and it will be extracted before too much longer. So very exciting. There's another hive beetle. That bug crawling right there, if you can see, right there. And here's what we do with hive beetles.
we kill them. So anyhow, that's uh, that's these hives for now, and uh, things are looking good. I can't wait to get in. I'm gonna have to go into those two that are uh, showing more activity now than they were because uh, I think things have finally picked up in them. So anyhow, I'm gonna get off here, get this done, get back to work, get things done, and I will talk with you all later. Thanks for watching, and I gotta put the phone down and take my glove off to turn my phone off.